I'm back. Hi everyone, my name is April. So today we will be discussing about virtual tours and we have a special guest, Patrick Golden. So Vinny, take it away. All right, everybody, how are you doing? This is Vinny Thompson from askvinnythompson.com. If you want to see this video, you can go on my website, obviously, askvinnythompson.com or on my YouTube page. Um, a key to a lot of my marketing, I'm going to say for the last year and a half, has been doing video marketing. I made a dedication in 2018 and all of 2019 to do videos and virtual tours for all of my listings, from a $300,000 house to a house over a million dollars. The way my dedication to doing video marketing, I decided to do it for every home. In fact, one would argue smaller homes that need more work and maybe less desirable to the general public probably need more marketing and need to look better, you know, because it's maybe harder to get them sold. So uh, as far as that goes, uh, I made a dedication uh, to do that. And the implementer of this is my man, Patrick Golden from Aerial Media. He does a lot of my background stuff. Very smart guy. He makes his funny face look good. And uh, he's my guy. He's my go-to guy. He helps me with script writing. Or when I'm running a mouth on, on tape to camera, some great behind the scenes ideas. And uh, he's uh, my machine. He's always got my back. So uh, Pat, take it away. Thank you so much for the kind words, Vinny. Um, I, uh, I have been working with Vinny and, and producing uh, all of the, the media content uh, behind the Ask Me Thompson team uh, for the last uh, two years now. And uh, it has been, uh, it's been important for, for building Vinny's brand. Uh, and I think uh, anybody who is watching this video is, is here because they've been drawn by Vinny's brand. And I think that has, uh, has been the, uh, the forefront of, of growing uh, the business. Um, and as that has been our, our past two years history, uh, I think with this uh, coronavirus um, issue that's going to continue out uh, for the next couple months, uh, we are going to have to, as an industry, uh, adapt. And we're going to have to figure out ways to, uh, to uh, continue business uh, while being safe and uh, minimizing the chance of infection because there's no vaccine that's, uh, that's going to be around for a while and we're going to have to continue selling homes because people are going to have to move. Uh, so with, uh, with that in mind, uh, we're going to take a look at a few of the different uh, products that I've put together and uh, have become what is the driving force to the uh, Vinny, the Ask Vinny Thompson digital brand. So here we can take a look at this is a single property website for 134 Beach 92nd Street over in Rockway Beach. Uh, we've got it leads with a video. Uh, it's constantly rolling, very pleasing, draws you in. Then you've got photos. Let, let, let me just ask a question, Pat. I know on my end, uh, I just have, uh, hasn't started. Can people see the screen share? Just say in the chat, if you can see what uh, Pat is screen sharing in the background. I can't, say, uh, uh, I can't see the, the screen. I'm not able yeah, to see it. Uh, yeah, okay. I can't no. see the screen share, Pat. It looks like it's not loading. Yeah, I That's think everyone idea. can't see it. Let's see. Yeah, as Pat is fixing that, uh, I just want to say I know video marketing uh, has become a huge part of my business because I understand that the consumer, uh, consumer for me means agents want to see the house in live time. What does the house look like beyond taking professional pictures? Um, I think it's a great tool for marketing for the buyer's agents and for the buyers 
who live in the now society. I want to see the house now beyond pictures. So I thought some people knew exactly what a virtual tour was. I was mistaken. As I explained to a lot of buyers, I'm like, you can see that. I said, no, no, I saw it on Truly and Zill. I'm like, no, you didn't. The virtual tour, when you, you know, when you press, you know, virtual tour on the dot com of the property, it's like you're inside the house. And then I would have to show them. And then they really understood. You, know, you can walk in, you can walk down, you can go outside, you can go down the basement, you look at the ceiling, you can do a close up of, of the appliances, you can look at the hardwood floors, you can, you know, do a lot of stuff with the virtual tour as if you were inside the house. And in fact, um, one of the homes um, that I sold, uh, it was very instrumental to me uh, getting an offer accepted for a home. The person was a military person and they had their buyer's agents, which they trusted really, you know, had a high level of trust. And in fact, they sent them a virtual tour and they put an offer in on the property. I mean, I was very impressed by that. They had been working with this person for a long time. All, all controls. And that helped, you know, get them to get the offer accepted. So, uh, and, and it, it helped to set um, the house apart and me apart as an agent, right? So when I sit down in front of my prospective uh, uh, buyers, they like to see it. And of course, the sellers when I have a listing. You know, here's my value, or one of them, value proposition that I'm going to do a virtual tour of your home to showcase it on the market, you know, when it goes up for sale, you know, and put that on Facebook. It was a, it's a great feeling when I go to sell somebody's home and the buyers agents that come through the door, uh, along with the people in the community, after I put it on social media and target that area, have seen a home already. They're like, you know, they're like, I like the home. And it pulls them in and it sets you apart. You know, that along with other marketing campaigns of giving out flyers, going to local stores, and you become known as that guy or girl when you're doing a lot of the, uh, the virtual tours, professional pictures uh, on YouTube. Facebook and, and this kind of thing. So it really helps with your marketing and your brand doing virtual tours, especially now being, I know in New York, we're very restricted on what we can do. So it's great to send out, you know, this virtual tour so you can still kind of be active in the market without physically being at the home, you know, uh, to show the house, create some type of intrigue, you know, along with uh, seeing uh, the dimensions of the home. Uh, along with seeing the video dimension, the virtual tour, we also, you know, take uh, uh, the Matterport, does the sizes of the rooms, right? We get that age old question, how big is the bedroom? Can my king size bed fit? Pat, I'm just running down to time. When you're ready, let me know if you got it fixed. Yeah, I think I got it fixed. I can actually see people in here yeah, now. Too. Yeah, so. That's fantastic. Okay, good. Yeah, that, that age old question. Uh, can my king size bed fit in this room? Well, I don't know, Miss Jones, but you know, here if you go to the dot com portion of it, you'll see what size of the bed it is. Oh, boom, okay. I can start running them up. Go ahead, Pat. Run it. All right. Fantastic. Back into it. Um, so this is a single property website. Uh, it's got every single thing that we do as a team, uh, from video to photos, the virtual tour, and here's the video sitting there with the floor plans. It has a contact information, a Google Maps. Really, um, it, it's, it's made to draw the person in from the most pleasurable thing to look at, seeing the photos with aerial shots and the beach. But everybody knows that photos are touched up, they're brightened, they're wide angled. So then we include a virtual tour. The one that I've sourced for my company is from Matterport. Um, if you're a New York local, I am a service provider and can really help get somebody into the home with the feel of walking around it without fading to black. These aren't 360 photos that are stitched together. It allows you to virtually tour the home, which is something that you're gonna be hearing a lot from clients 
over the next six months? Do you do virtual tours? Because people would rather have one photographer in their home with a camera than 30 potential buyers when only five of them are gonna make an offer. So we're gonna allow 500 potential buyers to come through the home and those same five that wanna make an offer will make those offers. If they need to come to see the home, you're showing the home to five people, not 50. Open houses are gonna be non-essential or non-existent for the next six months. It's gonna be private showings only, but how do you get those private showings? How do you differentiate yourself from showing just still photography or just being listed on Zillow? You add to your media offerings. Now, I just wanna to add to that, Pat, because many people may be saying, well, I can't afford it. So, you know, it depends on what you want to dedicate yourself to it. Uh, I dedicated myself to do this for one year and, and it was a cost, but I think that cost paid off, you know, in dividends because I became that agent where when you refer me, this is what you get when you refer me. And clients financially appreciate that and you'll be compensated for your time. I, I promise you by setting yourself apart. Yeah, I agree. Um, I, I think it goes to the, 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 adult, the, the old saying of you dress for the job that you want, not the job that you have. Um, every single one of these homes is a dream home to the, the eventual buyer. Someone who is going to purchase this, this is their dream home. So you have to present it like it is. There's, there's, nothing out, there's no home out there that shouldn't be, be shown with a video at this point because of the tools that are available to videographers. Now, what do you say to the people, Pat, who want to like do the virtual tours themselves or on their cell phone or whatever the case may be? Um, I mean, I, I, I don't try and, I mean, there, there's a few things that I've tried to, to fix around the house. Um, but when I have a, a major project, like a, a plumbing issue, I call a plumber. I call someone who's, who's specialized in it, who's uh, dedicated time to, to sourcing their field and, and understanding the tools available to them um, in the same way that, you know, you guys wouldn't expect a homeowner to sell their home by themselves. You know, that's where, that's where your expertise lies. Uh, and I think the, the, best, uh, the best realtors out there uh, understand where their own sh shortcomings are, where they can supplement with someone else's skills and do the proper hiring. You know, it's, it's been my thing where, you know, look, uh, when you have your home for sale uh, and you're the agent, this is really a part of who you are when you're marketing, right? So you can say, ah, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whip out my Android. I'm going to take out my, my cell phone. Okay, and when I go online, this is really a reflection of you, the realtor, and, and what you're showing. When I have or I had my open house in the past, many times the homes I have for sale that we listed with the Ask Vinnie Thompson team stuck out because we had the virtual tours. It, it was in the person's mind. Yeah, I saw four or five homes, but I remember that home that had the virtual tour. Can I go back and do I use my imagination or can I use the actual virtual tour of the property I saw? Wow, I can. That also helped me with marketing, with standing out to buyers and showing the sellers I'm willing to go the extra mile to showcase your home in the best possible light. I agree, um, and, and and that's still uh, it doesn't it doesn't even start to touch on the fact that people are going to want to limit people in their homes, and I think that is the biggest selling point for starting uh, to do virtual tours. If you hadn't done them in the past, or if you had thought about doing them and thought that your business wasn't large enough yet. Uh, this is how you grow your business. This is how you take something that is, is a tragedy, uh, but understanding that there are challenges that everyone's gonna face and offering your services as a realtor uh, to help them sell their homes because people are gonna be forced out. Uh, people, people's businesses are, are, are gonna be in contraction and, uh, and there's gonna be investment that's gonna be one to be made as well. There's, there's zero interest rates right now. So people are gonna to wanna to purchase uh, investment properties and the, the ability to 
assist in the digital marketing of this and to allow people to safely view homes and make educated decisions on what they're purchasing uh, is, is invaluable. Well, not, not zero interest rates. I mean, zero is as the banks trade amongst themselves, but they're, they're relatively low, you know, two, three, four percent, depending on, you know, what, what you can get. Not, not exactly zero. Uh, the but fact, uh, uh, the I, I want to open this. Well, I, I want to open this up to, because, uh, 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 Madam Port, what are you using, Pat? Zoom. Zoom is very strict on the time limits and what they allow. Did you want to show just this house, Pat? Um, or did you want to show another one? And that's fine if this was the only one you wanted to show. Let's show 38 Herkimer. Yeah, this was a referral that, uh, yeah, let's show 38. This, yeah, this was a referral that I was given, um, and the lady wanted to sell a condo, um, and uh, we got the full asking price for the home. All right, can you see Herkimer now? No, not as yet. I, I think it's changing up. And, and not to mention, guys, when you do virtual tours and you own social media, it leaves an indelible mark, you know, long after the home has been sold. Uh, I've had one or two homes that haven't gotten sold. And because, uh, not that many, I normally sell my listings, but because I was the agent of choice, that left a social media mark and it was still in MLS, you know, on social media, on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram, you know, and it, it's still there. Who did that work? Who's that agent? Oh, Vinny did that. Okay, he's that guy. Let's give him a shot. You know, and it definitely helps you, you know, with your marketing. Remember, it's a reflection of you. Absolutely. The, the, the idea of building your brand means that it, it stays with you. Uh, you add these videos to your, your social media, you add them to your, to your Instagram, um, your Facebook, uh, they, they stay out there. Uh, it's what you point to when you're, when you're out and about getting listings. I mean, there's no, there's no better way to get a listing than to be out grabbing a you know, bagel in the morning and to overhear somebody talking about selling their home and showing them, Hey, this is what I do. This is how I'm different than every other guy that's going to pitch you. Yeah. This is a listing I have in Brooklyn. That's uh, it was, a, it is a, a three family brownstone, really, really nice brownstone. It has a two duplexes, uh, sorry, it has a main duplex on the first floor and the lower level, full basement, and two rental units upstairs. We just actually dropped the price down from uh, two seven to two four nine nine. In case you guys are interested. Oh, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> and for those that you know, are really thinking about, you know, once again, the cost of it, you have to factor in, you know, what you're going to do and how you're going to do it depending on what city, state, or town you're in. And, you know, you know, see if this course makes sense to you. Um, I was always trained that, you know, doing dollar productive activity, the amount of time and energy I would have to do for this to do it right, it's just too much. You know, I, I don't have the time and the energy, you know, to get it done, between running around, going to appointments, firming up new business, knocking on doors, making the neighborhood aware, you know, that's time. You know, my time is valuable. So, you know, I like to enlist as many professionals to help me get stuff done as I can so I can be freed up to do, you know, more dollar productive activities. Absolutely, Vinny. Um, I... I internet connection on the table. Vinny, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I completely agree with that. Um, I think that al allowing professionals to specialize on their, on their industry um, creates the best overall product. Uh, I think that's why the, you'll see teams succeed uh, more often than you'll see individual agents. Um, I think, I think people that, uh, understand where uh, where they can find the best value uh, in the marketplace. 
will create the best products and, and help sell homes the quickest too. Yeah, and you said teams, right? We all have a team. So you have your photographer, you have your attorney, you have your inspector, you have your bankers, right? So even individual agents, you know, have a team. What that team may consist of, it all depends, right? You oh, absolutely. could have an admin, you could not have an admin. You know, you can have an assistant or not have an assistant. It could just be you or people you add as time goes on, you know, for the day, for the month, for the week, or whatever the case may be. So I just think that the virtual tour is definitely a wave of the future. Certainly helps in a market like now where virtual tours are probably like the thing. And I don't see them going away even when we do return to some form of, 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 uh, of, of normalcy. And that will happen as well, you know, no matter what we're going through. That will happen. Absolutely. So, any, so any, uh, any questions? If you have questions or if you want to unmute yourself or just say it in the chat. I just got the 10-minute warning five minutes ago from, uh, from uh, uh, Zoom. Mark, uh, um, Mark said, uh, how much is the software? Pat? Matterport 3D. Um, Matterport 3D is if you if you're trying to do it yourself is a, uh, a five thousand dollar camera with a uh, hundred dollars of of you know auxiliary costs and and uh, and tripods and whatnot. Um, and then and then learning how to use the uh, the platform and paying for a monthly subscription, which is why I suggest. Uh, going on to Matterport.com and um, trying to connect to a service provider in your area because they will have already covered all of the upfront costs and they'll understand how to use and get the most out of the platform. Um, you can find awful Matterports out there where if the camera wasn't properly leveled, uh, it becomes a seasick you know, experience and you're not going to get, you know, any value for it. So shopping around or connecting through Matterport is definitely your your best move if you're going to continue if you're going to pursue the 3D. So Matterport would have Matterport authorized people to yeah, help Matt, you. Okay. Yeah, there's Matter Matterport service providers. So if you're not in the New York area and I can't help you directly, uh, you can go right onto Matterport and uh, they will. Uh, I think you. Um, I think you just enter in the address of the listing, and they'll use the the address to connect one uh, to connect you with someone that they've partnered with in the area. Okay, yeah, I remember I went to a seminar or family reunion or something, and the Matterport guy was like, "Yeah, you get the Matterport, it pays for itself, and like for one minute, right? You know, I'm the typical realtor, shiny scroll, shiny. Yeah, I'll get it. No." Yeah, no, it's, no. it's, I mean, it, it is fa fantastic te technology, but just like everything else, um, it's only good as the person wielding it. And I think that's, right. that's why it's important to, uh, to not bite off more than you can chew with these kind of things. Uh, it's taken me, you know, hundreds of scans and, and properties across, you know, Long Island and to Brooklyn and, and New York, uh, to get this good. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think that it's, uh, if, if anybody in the chat wants me to help them uh, source a, a Matterport user in their area, I'd be happy to do that. Um, you can reach out to me uh, in at my email here. I'll drop it right now. AerialMediaNY yeah. at Gmail. Drop that bad. Drop it. Dot com. And uh, any other questions? What about a phone number, Pat? Do you want to put your number in there as well? Sure. Uh, if you'd like to reach out to me, my I've number... I've too far. No, no, it's okay. Uh, my number is 516-319-3993. Uh, All right. So I think that's it. Once again, I'd rather shut this down before uh, our gracious host here at Zoom does. Uh, I thank you, Pat, for your time. Uh, and I hope you have got some, some value, you know, from this. Uh, if you want to see it again, run it again, you can go to askvinnythompson.com. It will be there. 
And then I will also have it on my YouTube page, of course, still ask Vinny Thompson, period. Don't put period, but I mean just ask Vinny Thompson on YouTube. All right? Pat, thank you for your time. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Ali, and all the future people watching this. I hope you got something out of it. And if you need my help here in the York, just remember, just askvinnythompson.com. Over and out. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. All right. You got it.